And this is actually one of the most important products um, because this is the one that's going to declutter the drivetrain, which are the chain rings, the jockey wheels in here, and we're actually going to use it as well on the sprockets that are mounted on the rear wheel. Um, it's a very, very good product, so it is. Um, doesn't need an awful lot of it, um, so user-friendly as well. And whenever we do this piece, then we can actually get to, to put on the product onto the frame itself. We're gonna start and we're gonna clean the outer section of the two chain rings, first of all. Um, because this bike has been in the heat a lot, um, it's not so uh, congested like with, with real bad mud. So you can see yourself, it's more chain grease uh, that has just accumulated with dust that's on it. But again, this is all wear. You can see yourself that the chain has already been wearing on. This was a brand new chain ring. It's probably done about 1500 kilometers. So you can see the chain is already starting to take its toll on, on, on the chain ring. So I'm gonna spray this product as you can see doesn't need a lot of product onto the outer side of the chain ring. As you can see yourself here, this is the, you can see the accumulation on the jockey wheel here on the side, like so. So we're gonna spray product onto this, spin the little wheel, same with this one. And then also in and around the gear mechanism as well, um, it's good to just put a little bit of product on the inside as well. As you can see on the rear side, the, the viewing is a little easier. So we put the product on here, same on the bottom one. And here inside in the mechanism as well, good again to put some up in around here and then around the springs. We're gonna move now to the inner chain rings like so. We'll just turn them around and make sure that they're all nicely done. Upper on the inner side of this crank as well. And just let that sit for a bit. As the frame is, is, is sitting for a little bit, we're just going to concentrate on the wheels here now. So we're going to start with the rear wheel. And again, this area here is where the, a lot of the congestion happens as well, especially down in between the sprockets, because in today's world where there are so many rear sprockets, the gap between is not very great. So effectively things get stuck down in there and it accumulates and accumulates. So we're going to put some product, big reason product, onto the sprockets like this. Make sure that it goes right down into the the dead center of each sprocket like so. The other thing to do is turn the wheel around. And make sure you do the rear of the sprockets inside the edge of the rear hub here, around where the spoke heads are. Make sure that part there has a little bit of degreaser on it as well. Um, there's always a lot of what we call fly off. So there's a little bit of stuff that flies off and it accumulates over time. It doesn't come off in big chunks, but just over time it accumulates. 